I, I always loved it. I loved, um, you know, there was a passion I had for acting and any time I was on set and even as an extra uh, or a stand-in or just being around the business. So I started acting back in 1986. I actually was in New York City uh, where I had a modeling career. Came back to Montreal on a, uh, a weekend with a girlfriend and landed a TV series, a hockey series uh, back in 86. For a, you know, an actor just beginning, it, I, had a, I was doing well. I was lucky because I, 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 I kind of got on a roll and it kept going that way for me. It's when I lost passion that I knew it was time to, to leave or, or to, to find something else that would reunite the, uh, to relight the, the passion that I had. I just, it was time. You just know when it's time. It's, uh, it just wasn't as fun. I wasn't being truthful to myself. I think it comes across at times. And that's what started happening. I started look, going in and reading auditions going, I can't say this shit. I can't, I don't believe it. So that's when you know it's kind of over because if you can't speak the words, you know, then uh, what's the point? It looks like a centrosaurus. A centrosaurus? Well, I'll make sure to tell everyone that when I get back to the good old US of A. <laughs> yeah. You see this, you know, when, when you're in your 20s and uh, there's a cockiness, you know, to some and, uh, you know, that they were going to just be the next uh, big star or something and... And, and yet they don't really realize what it takes. Uh, it's just not your normal nine to five job. And reality is, if you, you know, you'll be asked to sleep for a job probably. I mean, it's just, I, I, and I, I mean, truthfully, this stuff does go, go down. I mean, you know, you have to be prepared to be put in situations that you have to learn how to handle. Um, it's what you want to live with. So for an actor, I think someone really has to decide and, and truthfully question everything to decide if they want to do this. But if it's truly, truly, truly what you want to do, then that's what you have to do it and follow your heart. Ask yourselves why you want to do this. I said, if you're sitting here going, you want to be a star, I want to make tons of money, I said, then get out of it because you have to do it because you love it. Absolutely his passion. children. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise his name. Yes, Lord. Praise his name. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. What is it that you want to give up? And what is it, you know, you're willing to sacrifice? And I knew that, you know, I wasn't, I don't want to be a star. You know, for me to fly to New York and work on a, on a set that, uh, you know, Ashton Kushner's producing and Demi Moore's on set, paparazzi's everywhere because of Misha Barton. And, you know, I'm going, whoa, like, this is my reality, you know. My life is being a father, you know, a single father and, and coming and doing my son's laundry and, and making sure he's okay. You know, that's reality. Mm, that's what I want. Stay grounded. So. I had to do a, I was doing a series as a guest star in the, uh, they flew in this German rock star and I was so not attracted to her. Like there was nothing. I'd kiss her and we were in love and I was like, oh God, and she kissed like crap and I'm like, this is really bad. And I thought of Haagen-Dazs ice cream. I love chocolate, Haagen-Dazs ice cream. And boy, this woman turned into the biggest bowl of Haagen-Dazs ice cream. So whenever I had to kiss her, I was like, oh, I really, really love you, <laughs> Haagen-Dazs. I said, that's how you got it. You got to use whatever you use. And I said, no one knows what I was thinking. They, they think, man, this guy's hot for this woman. I'm going, oh, I forget it, man. I was getting a Woody over Hagen-Dazs ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't know that, so...